Moving on to another fly now, uh, the Stew's Olive. Um, slightly different shape of hook. This is an emerger now. So this is a bit more of an all-encompassing dry fly. Either when you're not too sure what's uh, what's emerging or um, or you're not picking the fish up on things like the LDO um, quill bodied uh, done. You can go to a pattern like this. It might be that the fish are taking the emergers. So here we've got the Sprite hook, uh, the S2100 in a size 14. Uh, they call it a buzzer hook, but it's great for this style of fly. Um, you can tie these all the way down to an 18. Uh, you can tie them down to 20s and, and some, and you can tie them on straight hooks as well. One of the things I like about this is how the shank straightens out towards the um, towards the eye of the hook. Uh, thread wise we've got the Semperfly Wax Silk in Pale Olive 12 volt, and we're going to start again just back from the eye of the hook. Take that. Now we need to focus a little bit more on our thread work because we're not actually going to put any dubbing on this body, it's all going to be thread based. So we take this round almost to the extent of the bend and then bring it back up on itself. And that's forming our body as we go. And generally, once down and once back up is more than enough to create the body on these flies. And then we we'll simply go back to our trusty CDC where we're going to pair up pair up a couple of feathers. Uh, we're going to go for, with three. I can find a third one that I like. So, a small one. All the tips matched up together, all facing the same direction and uh, the curve of the feathers all going the same way. Wing length, again roughly the body length and pinch that to the hook, thread up through and slide it down on top of the hook there. So wind to the eye and then really bind that down, so that's looking good. And then, like we did with the LDO done, just cut that off and don't worry about that little bump in there. We're actually going to leave it at this point. We're going to get our trusty hair zip, can't go wrong with natural hair zip, to dub the thorax area. That will give you your leggy, bulky wing bug at wing bud area. Uh, bind that down. Make sure you don't dub it too tightly so those fibres can break up and spread out. So you want to make sure you've got all the turns behind the wing. Stroke the wing back and hopefully you've left yourself enough room to build up a little head area which will push the wing up looking just like the emerger body underneath the surface of the film, hanging in like the natural, wing bud floating, and then the wing just exploding out from the fly, looking like a freshly emerged olive, some description. Go on with the whip finish in front of the wing. And a super effective early season emerger pattern but make sure you've got it in your box all the way through the year because this is a great pattern um, all throughout the year when you're looking for a bit more of a generic emerger pattern.